Hello and welcome to Silentium's Final Fantasy VII Video Guides. In this vid, I'll be going over each character's limit breaks. Enjoy. First up is Cloud. Cloud's limit breaks start out with Braver. Braver is just a basic attack. Second, he has Cross Slash. Cross Slash is a basic attack that hits an enemy three times, and it has a chance to paralyze them. Third, he has Blade Beam. Blade Beam is a ranged attack that hits one enemy and then splits off and hits the rest of the enemies for less damage. Clem Hazard, it impales one enemy and then rips his sword straight up through their body. Meteor Rain summons meteors to hit all enemies. Finishing Touch summons a tornado to kill all enemies. Omni Slash, Cloud slashes every enemy in sight with the sword repeatedly critical strikes on every single hit. Barret's first limit break is Big Shot. This is just massive single target damage. Mind Blow completely depletes an enemy's mana. Grenade Bomb, Barret throws a grenade into a group of enemies for decent damage. Hammer Blow, he punches an enemy in the face and then shoots them and they fly into outer space. Satellite Beam, destructive beams hit all enemies multiple times. Unger Max, minigun like full automatic attack. It hits for less damage than Satellite Beam, but it hits a ton more times. And Catastrophe, Barret hovers over the enemy and then blasts them all to death with plasma. Tifa's limit break starts out with Beat Rush, which is a chain of punches. Then she gets Somersault, where she kicks an enemy and does a backflip off of them. Water Kick, she kicks an enemy with water damage for elemental damage. Meteor Dive, she picks up an enemy and then pile drives them. Dolphin Blow, she does a massive uppercut plus an awesome dolphin. Meteor Strike, she picks an enemy up and then slams him to the ground. And finally, Final Heaven. She fires pla plasma beams out of her fists for massive damage to everything in sight. Aerith starts out with Healing Wind, which heals all party members for 50% of their max health. She gets Seal Evil, which is stop and silence on all enemies. Breath of the Earth cures all party members of any negative status ailments. Fury Brand gives the other two party members their limit breaks. Planet Protector makes the entire party invincible for a short period of time. Pulse of Life fully heals all party status health and mana. Great Gospel fully recovers all party members and makes them immune for a short period of time. Red 13 starts out with Sled Fang, which does massive single target damage. Then he gets a Lunatic High, which puts haste on the entire group. Blood Fang does the same thing as Sled Fang, but it also heals him. Start Astray, he howls, and stars fall on the back guys. Howling Moon casts haste and berserk on Red 13. Earth Brave. Assaults enemies with five separate elemental based attacks. And finally, Cosmo Memory, where 13 howls and a big fireball falls on the bad guys. Yuffie starts out with Grease Lightning, which is strong single target range damage. Then she gets Clear Tranquil, which puts a barrier around all her allies and regions their HP over time. Next is Landscaper, which earthquakes all enemies, causing great damage to everything. Then she gets Bloodfest, hits enemies 10 times for extremely high damage. Gauntlet, which is a vortex da attack that hits all enemies. Doom of the Living, hits every enemy tons of times for massive damage every time. Finally, Yuffie hits all creation, calls down a beam of light onto all enemies, dealing insane levels of damage. Next is Katesif, who only gets two limit breaks. First, he starts off with dice. Dice, he rolls them, and whatever comes up is how much damage he does to everything. Uh, as he uses it more and more often, he'll get extra dice up to a total of 10. An example is 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6, 1700 damage to all enemies. Slots, second. Spin the roulette and hope for the best. It can do anything from healing everybody, killing every enemy, killing every ally, or case it just becomes a gigantic version of himself and does a lot more damage. Vincent starts out with Galian Beast, which he turns into a Galian Beast, and has Beast Flare, fire damage to all enemies, and Berserk Dance, which is high single target physical damage. Then he has Death Gigas, which has Giga Dunk, massive single target physical damage, and a group-wide lightning attack to all enemies called Livewire. 
He can then turn into Hellmasker, which has Splatter Combo. It's a single enemy, five separate times. Or it can do Nightmare, which inflicts a single enemy with every status ailment in the game. Finally, Vincent can turn into Chaos. Chaos has Chaos Saber, which hits all enemies with a Fire Blast, or Stand Slam, which either instantly kills all enemies or deals extremely high damage to them all. Sid starts out with Boost Jump, which does moderate single target damage, and he gets Dynamite, which does very low group damage. Hyper Jump smashes all enemies with a spear. Dragon, he calls on a dragon to hit one enemy and gives Sid back MP and HP. Dragon Dive, he repeatedly jumps on enemies doing group damage every time he lands. Big Brawl, he jumps into a group of enemies and slashes repeatedly. It doesn't hit as hard as Dragon Dive, but it hits a lot more. And he does High Wind, where he calls the airship High Wind in to drop bombs on the enemies. 